The Kogi State Governor, Yaya Bello, is pushing forward with his presidential ambition and has been getting support from a wide section of Nigerians. The latest is from a group of women made up of entrepreneurs, professionals and media executives. They gathered in the federal capital territory to honor the governor as the hero of women inclusion. They also disclosed that they would only support governorship and presidential candidates who will support and appoint women to strategic positions in government. I'm standing here to say that the ordinary governors have till 2023 to work alone. But as it stands today, we have decided that that one governor that we have watched and has met all the criteria, we must honor. We are going to confer him with the honor of the most distinguished hero of women inclusion in Nigeria. The majority of the appointees are women. He even surpassed the 35% affirmative action on women. Are we going to sit back and not recognize such a leader? As we come together, let us speak with one voice. So that our Nigeria will be good. Not that it just be in one place. In not here. What are they doing? This government is not good. Look at them. They, no, don't say that. We continue to pray for Nigeria. We have decided among ourselves that we have to take our destiny into our hands. We can't just sit back and expect things to change for us. So this kind of gathering is also a welcome gathering where women are together, we discuss our issues, we encourage ourselves, knowing that 2023 is around the corner. So we need to encourage ourselves to be bold, to take the bull by the horn. That it is capability we are interested in. We are not ready to sell Nigeria again. Nobody, no politician should give us money to vote who is not meant to be there. Let us vote ability, capability, experience, and especially those with the fear of God. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.